Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about uh, CTGAN, uh, which is a method for generating fake tabular uh, data. It is based on deep learning. Um, probably you've heard about uh, GAN's method. It's, um, it's usually used for generating, uh, you know, fake images or fake faces. Uh, that do not exist in real world and they're uh, made based on some, you know, a real data. You can see here, for example, or here, turning a horse to a zebra. But anyway, we're going to use uh, the same concept for generating f fake images for uh, generating tabular data. First, we need to install uh, CTGAN. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to use the uh, pip command. Afterwards, we need to install table evaluator. So we use the table evaluator to evaluate the quality of our uh, fake generated synthetic, you know, data. Um, so let's install table evaluator. And afterwards, we need to restart uh, runtime. So we make sure that the packages are uh, fully installed and uh, Colab can can import them and use them. Uh, for the data, I, I use this Kaggle data set, medical cost personal data sets. The reason is that I use this data is that um, it included both, you know, continuous and categorical feature. Uh, like BMI, which is continuous, and sex, which is categorical. Uh, I didn't want to use the default uh, data sets of the GANs, uh, City GANs project, because I wanted to show you that it works on different kinds of, uh, you know, data sets. So I just uploaded it. Uh, I just uploaded the data set on my own uh, Google Drive. I downloaded it using GDown, and now we can import it using pandas. So let's take a look at data. So as I showed you, there are two columns, the BMI and charges, which are um, continuous and the other ones are categorical features. In order to introduce our data to CTGAN, we need to uh, tell that which columns are categorical. So here we have to define an array and say that these ones are categorical features. Now we have everything ready to train our uh, model. So we have to import the city again and uh, then uh, we can put the variables to true so we can track the evaluator and discriminator um, loss value and we see how well the training is going on. And then I said 200 epochs, which I think would be fine for our training. An interesting fact about the loss function and GANs method is that if you have like uh, zero for your loss function, that doesn't mean necessarily that your model is going to do great. So there is an interesting article about this here on GitHub of the SDV. Uh, project and they explain that the most important thing about the loss function is that uh, it should stabilize, it should plateau. So here you can see the discriminator and here you can see the generator loss function and when these two start to stabilize it means that uh, the, the model is doing good. So it's totally okay to have a negative uh, you know, uh, loss value for your generator. And uh, it happens in a lot of cases. Uh, in our case, it also happens. So more or less, it's stabilized around this number. And uh, now we can generate some, some fake data. So we use the sample method to generate around 1000 uh, fake data. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, it looks almost like our our real data. We have the BMI, we have the sex, children, and uh, it looks pretty similar. Um, 
we have both categorical and uh, continuous features. Now we can evaluate and compare our real data with the fake data to see how is the quality of the data that we generated. So as you can see up here, I just printed the shape of the uh, fake, da fake data set and the real data set. Well, synthetic would be a better term, more accurate term. Um, but here we have like around 1,300 rows of real data and 1,000 rows of generated synthetic data. As you can see, the uh, absolute log mean and standard deviation is pretty good for, for the real and the fake data. This, this blue circle is pretty close to the line. It shows that they have a very similar values in both case of means and standard deviation. And apart from that, here you can see the fake and the real data for age. They are pretty close. Uh, for sex, it's like the same. Um, however, for the BMI, it could be better. Maybe if we ran more epochs, it would be closer. Um, for children, it's doing fine. Uh, for a smoker, as you can see for the categorical features, it done much better in comparison with the continuous features here. Also, there is a little bit of difference, but overall, I think it's an acceptable quality. Um, here, we also had a few, you know, outliers that uh, the fake um, generator, uh, fake data generator couldn't generate, uh, but it's more or less fine. Moreover, we have the, we have these heat maps that you can see and yeah, we have a lot of uh, cool things here that you can use to uh, see the quality of the synthetic data that you generated. Uh, here, it, I can see some sort of uh, difference, um, but I think overall it's fine. And uh, this is one of the methods of the uh, generating, you know, fake uh, tabular data based on real data. There are some other methods. Uh, you can check out the SDV, um, you know, uh, repository and you can check out um, other methods. I use the city again because it worked pretty fine for uh, my problem and I think it's kind of more popular. You can see from stars here. Um, but yeah, nowadays they also use transformers. So maybe later on I make another tutorial about that. But if you had any questions, just ask me in the comments. I will put the link to this uh, Google Colab in the description of the video so you can check it out yourself and you run the commands and you can play with the number of epochs and other hyperparameters to see uh, how it works. Hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you very much.